face is so pale. And yellow. Oh, I guess it's fine. I am gonna do a makeup thing because last time I performed, I did the makeup and people wanted to see how I did it. Before I go on, I'm gonna say I'm not professional at all and I don't really buy makeup from... I don't really buy makeup, period. So a lot of the things are gifts or things that my mom gave me. Um, I can show you them, but they're not always the best. I'll show you the ones people gave me. Um, yeah, I'm gonna try to do this. The only problem might be that my memory card doesn't have enough space. So I'm gonna try to do this really fast. Okay, so obviously I already have on foundation. That's why I look so pale. And I have it on because I had some breakouts last weekend. So I did not want to scare you guys with my redness. What I do first is my eyebrows. Eyebrows are important, so let's put them on. See how short this is? This is how long I've been using brow pencil. My mom gave me this and I've been using it. I kind of really started drawing brows in college, so maybe three years. Okay, so yeah, and I have this brush thingy. It's not even focused, but this brow brush thingy is really important to me because yeah, I only know one way of doing my brows, so let's do my brows. I'm gonna draw from the bottom. Now I'm from here, here we go. This tip, and that looks funny. But then we're gonna cut her in. Dude, that looks crazy. That looks really crazy. My mom always thinks my brows are too thick, but I don't know. With stage makeup, but like performance makeup, I kind of make it really prominent just so people see that I have eyebrows. And I feel like. I don't know, I don't do this every day. Usually it's not this thick. I know. Like I feel like every time I'm putting on stage makeup, I just allow myself to do a lot more and go full out. Oh my face. Okay, I'm gonna do the other side. Can't look at myself. Early in the morning and already something's happening. This campus is kind of crazy. I'm not gonna lie. I know some people use like brow powder or other brow products, but I really just use a brow pencil because it looks natural to me. It is just easy. I just draw and then use the brush thingy too. And I, I, I pull my end out and then I erase my fingers. I feel really crazy. But um, whatever guys. This is, this is, this is what we're working with today. You see that on the inside, I try to not make it too scary. I know for a lot of people, like they want their brows to be so defined. But I don't know, I don't think that works on me. It looks like I'm sticking on sticker brows. So I try to make it look a little more natural by just brushing it. I'm wearing a comb, by the way, because I don't want my hair getting in the way. And I also have a very, very big forehead, so... Okay, next is gonna be eyeshadow, which is my favorite part. Um, a lot of people tell me that they don't know how to do eyeshadow because you have to know what works for your eyes, like your features. Everyone has different features. Like, I'm Asian, but I have double eyelids. Oh, I can't tell you what shape they are. Okay, anyway, since today I'm performing with my dance crew, I'm wearing all black and then I'm wearing a maroon jersey. So I want to do something a little red. And then I'm strolling with my sorority and our color is red and gold. So I kind of want to do red and gold. And luckily, thankfully, my um, dear friend from our dance crew, Paywon, she gave me um, a set of color pop. Oh, you can't. Oh, okay. So color pop. These are color pop. My only ones, and they're really nice. Like this is gold and red, and like an orange and a brownish red. Like I really love these. So I'm gonna use these. I don't know what this set is called, but. I'm sorry. Um, normally, when I do my normal makeup, I don't use these. I just use like natural. This is Elsia. Also, a friend gave it to me. Um, 
and it's just very natural shades, nude shades. Of Usually I start off with the middle color. So in this case, the gold is gonna be the light, red is gonna be darker, and this is gonna be the darkest. So I'm gonna use orange. Start off with orange. And just brush. I got this at Forever 21. I just got a cheap set because I don't like spending too much money and I know that you actually have to throw these away every once in a while so I did not know that <laughs> I was using the same brush set for two years but <laughs> um, oh, two years or three years okay, I'm sorry um so anyway just like mm -hmm. I just put it I go from my crease or like above my double eyelid and just swish I create a fake crease and usually that's what I do for all girls no matter if you're a monolid or a double eyelid and then I kind of use a little of that and put it under my eye too and then I come in with a darker color so red is going to be red so Take that red. It's really red. Okay, that's gonna be red. Really it's really red. Like, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, I think I put too much on, but that's okay. Stage makeup means too much will be fine. But yeah, and also we're performing at night outside, so I don't know how well the lighting is gonna be. You probably won't see anything. I look funny. I look like someone punched me in the eye. I actually just got into using it because of Pay With Nick. Because she got me this set or I don't have these colors and I would never think about buying them for myself. Yeah, basically, um, this is what the red will look like. And then, I go in with the darker. So this is a lot browner, I would say. I'm just gonna Okay. So now I guess with all those dark colors on there, I am ready to put on the lighter shade, the gold. And unfortunately, I only have one brush, so we're just gonna deal with it and use. Oh shh! I forgot. Can I? Broke my gold. I'm sad. It's a really pretty gold. You can't see it, but it's like playing with it. So, because it took forever for the memory card to transfer everything onto my laptop, I am now done with this side of my face. I did contouring. I finished the eyeshadow, including the gold. I don't think you can really tell. But um, I don't have the gold on this side yet, so I'm just gonna do that. And I'll finish this side for you guys. So what I did was I used the gold. Dab, dab, dab. Dab. Dab, 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 dab. And then I put it on. See the gold shimmer more. So after that, I'm gonna 
the contour. This is from, okay, this is from high school. Uh, my friend Jill bought it for me, and I don't really use this side. It has like a lot of colors. I use it for like Halloween, and sometimes the purple. It has nice purples, and it has nice like browns too. Oh, I see some gold, so I'm gonna use that gold right there. So for this side, I have some contouring colors. These are all darker than my skin tone, so they all work. What I do is I use this brush, and I just kind of like, and well, I really don't like it when I see people with unblended skin tones, so I try to blend it in. What I do for my forehead is I also blend that in because apparently you can also contour your forehead to make it look smaller. Ha. <laughs> Wait, you may be but because in high school they always make it fun of my high forehead. But honestly, I don't mind it. Take a small brush and I use a lighter color. But it's also darker than my skin tone. Go, go around my nose too. Again, this is stage makeup. I don't usually do a contour on my face. You're just trying to make your nose look freaking small because that's the normal beauty standard. Like to be honest, like you don't have to look a certain way. Come on, you look different. It's okay to like this fake hair. I kind of bring it like here below the top of my hat. Okay. So, oh my god, I feel like I'm gonna have to upload again. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna go a little faster. What I do now is this is actually a brow pencil, but. You're supposed to use like a eyeliner pencil, like pencil. So like, yeah. Okay. What I do is I draw under. I don't do my waterline because I don't like it. I don't. I don't cry, but I just don't like it. Do you see that? See the difference? See it? Just like circling your eye, and I kind of pull it up a bit. Yeah. yeah. I usually just use this. Like I can show you what I do with this. I just take it from the end, the end of my eye, and then I like, pull it up. That's what I usually do. But because today is performance based, so we use I use a liquid, but I don't really like this. I like people's um, felt tip eyeliners. Those are so nice. Like this one's liquid and really, really, really thin. I don't even know what brand it is. Like it's not, it's not all that great. But, so, it's really thin. Really, really thin. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna look stupid. Oh, also, because I don't like having to like, get all my eyelashes because it messes up mascara. So I just use tissue and I like, push my eye, push my eye lashes down. So again, because it took forever for. In my left side, and I think I'm done with my left side. And I'm gonna show you what I did, but for now, something looks weird. Let me fix that real quick. Okay, so I love this thing. Let me finish what I was doing on the right side. 
the drama ally. And it's really hard to get both sides to be the same. It's symmetrical. This is why I hate I like you. But luckily, we can fix it. It's fixable, it just takes time. Okay, now I have to work. And I pulled it out quite a bit. And then I have this gold eyeliner. It's the best thing in the world. And what I do is I go back to my eyelid and draw in the removal. Why are you focused on my eyelid? Just focus on my face, okay? Then I'm gonna go in here. So look how like this I'm doing really close to my eye and here I'm bringing it down. Just to, just because I'm kind of OCD when it comes to getting I'm gonna take the brown. And um, what I want to do is take the red and just match it as my cheeks. So I'm going to use the same brush I used for contour. Take a bit of red, not too much. I'm going to brush it right above my contour. So it kind of matches my eyeshadow. I also went back and redefined the lower middle part of my eyebrow. And then Last but not least, use the highlighter and go in first on my nose, bridge of my nose. I did not realize what a big difference it makes until I started really doing it. Look at that nose bridge. The highlighter has to go above your cheekbone, if that makes sense. Yeah. And I'm done. Oh, almost. I one last thing. Eyelash. I don't like to put on false eyelashes because I can't see. I mean, it just, it just makes my eyes so heavy. I'm gonna look so stupid doing my eyelash. I don't know how people look pretty doing your lashes. Do my upper lashes. Mm -hmm. no, I'm using. Obviously, I use it a lot because you can't see it. People know what this brand is. Well, well I can feel um, how my eyeliner probably got on some of my lashes because they feel kind of like dry. Like something's on them and I can't brush the mascara on evenly but that's okay because i am performing so i'm gonna put on a lot i want to put on a lot because i want them to be obvious it's okay if there are things stuck on them yeah now we're at the gym you can see okay so i uploaded everything onto the laptop and now i'm actually done i'm done with my full face and I don't know if you can see, but I added something. Basically, basically what I did is, because you know how there's like the gold that I drew in here under my eyeline. Um, basically, I <laughs> I took the brow pencil that I used to draw under my eyelash, and I did a tiny bit under. And then I added the red. Can't I find anything? I used the red. Or this is brown, actually. That word. This went under. And I've never done this before, to be honest. But I'm not mad. It looks pretty cool. It looks pretty cool to me. So I'm just gonna do this. I don't know. I'm always trying new things. Last time I did a lot of eyeliners so that it looks like eyelashes. I mean, I can do that too right now. 
Okay, so um, yeah, this is my finished look. I don't know what I'm doing with my hair yet. I kind of wanna curl it and tie it up, maybe. But yeah, for now, this is this is it. Should I do like what they? Mm -hmm. um, get you guys a closer look. I feel so funny doing all that like that. <laughs> okay, um, last but not least, I'm actually gonna go in and put in some lipstick. I usually don't because I usually don't. I don't like it. And plus, like, I feel like when I eat, it's just gonna come off. But whatever. Uh, Kimmy gave me this. Kimmy's also at my dance crew. This is... What is this? Revlon? Rev Revlon Lipstick 225 Rose Wine. Uh, and, uh... It's a really nice color. I just don't, don't wear lipstick enough. I don't even know if I'm trying this hair. It looks uneven. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't know, man. The makeup is fine. It's just a lipstick that's throwing me off a bit. <laughs> I'm not used to seeing myself in lipstick. But, uh, yeah. I might tip my hair up. Uh, still considering. Okay. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed that. And I will see you guys next week. Bye!